Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a heavyweight smart home showdown to determine the smart display champion of the world. In this corner, with a screen size of 10 inches, we've got our first contender, the Amazon Echo Show. And the challenger, stepping up at the small but mighty seven inch screen, the Google Home Hub. They both came out last year and they both do a lot of the same stuff. Now that they've each had some time to mature, it's time to take a look at which one is better for you. Let's start with voice assistants. Yeah, the touchscreens are cool, but just like with a smart speaker, you're going to be mostly interacting with them with your voice. If you know you prefer Amazon's Assistant over Google's or Google's over Amazon's, your decision is easy. Both assistants are responsive and multi-talented. They'll answer most questions and control most smart home devices. Amazon's works with slightly more devices, while Google's responds more intuitively to commands. We'll call that first round a draw, but round two starts with the first big shot of the match. The Google Home Hub is better at showing pictures in ambient mode. Google Photos can curate an album of your loved ones for you. The Home Hub has an adaptive light sensor that's really good. It changes both the warmth and brightness of the pics on the fly so that your screen looks more like a physical photo. There's an early show of dominance from the Home Hub. You can view personal photos on the Echo Show too, but they don't look as good. The Home Hub offers better directions too. Search for a local restaurant and you can actually see the route and send directions to your phone. The Echo Show just offers general traffic info. It ain't over yet, folks. There's still room for the Echo Show to make a comeback and there is something it's got over the Home Hub. Better mics. They can hear you from further away and over louder background noise. It also has way better speakers. If you just want background music, the Home Hub is fine. But if you want something with oomph, the show's much more impressive. And for an extra bit of hardware punch, the Echo Show has a camera and the Home Hub doesn't. Now, that might not be for everyone, depending on how you feel about privacy. But the Home Hub isn't backing down. It offers better touch controls for the smart home. Both provide a few options. You can talk with your video doorbell or adjust your lights with a swipe, but the Home Hub makes it easier to see and control all of your devices in a way that makes intuitive sense. The back and forth continues. The Echo Show has two full web browsers, Firefox and Amazon Silk, whereas the Home Hub has none. However, Home Hub has YouTube. You can access it on the show via those browsers, but it's a pain, and you can't pull up videos with a voice command as you can on the Home Hub. We're down to the last round, and we're headed to the kitchen. The Echo Show works well with Side Chef's library of recipes, but the Home Hub has a bigger catalog, works with your phone, and gives great step-by-step -step instructions to narrowly take the victory. So there are a few reasons why you'd want to pick one over the other, but while the Echo Show sounds better and has a camera, it's also more expensive at $230 versus $150 for the Home Hub. You're probably not relying on your smart display for web browsing or music anyway. A smart display is best as a kitchen assistant, and in that regard, the Google Home Hub is a better device. Which means Google Home Hub takes home the prize today, CNET's crown as the heavyweight smart display champion of the world.